All right, today was fine. It was just awful. I am still recovering from this horrible GI bug. And it was like one thing piled up on top of the next. So much activity, so many things happening. There was just a barrage of activity at a time that I truly couldn't handle it. And the last thing that happened was that my middle daughter broke Slinky the Snake's light bulb at the last second, right before bedtime. And then she was petrified from it smashing, and I was petrified of the snake dying from it being too cold. And I couldn't handle it anymore. And the point of my weblog today is my sister saved my life. When I decided with my husband that it was time to have kids, it did not even begin to occur to me how much I was going to need my family. I had spent a lot of time proving about how much I didn't need my family, how I was so independent. I could run a company. I could have relationships. I could do so much without my family. I mean, it's like they, they launched me into the world, and what's the point? Holy crap, I'll tell you the point. <laughs> you really need them. When you have kids, it's like all of a sudden, oh, that's why I have these people who are looking around in my life. This is the whole point of them. I can't explain to you. So I, I text my sister. I am so done. I'm done. I cannot get a snake light bulb and the snake's going to die and I am completely incompetent as a mother. And she says, okay, I'll go get the bulb. Dad and I will go do it. My dad's in town and the two of them are going to get it. That small thing is such a great example of why I would advise that in everybody's reproductive plan, they figure out how they're going to move to be right back next to their family, no matter how much they think at the time that's a bad idea or that they are, might be ferociously independent. So <laughs> you don't want to be away from your family. You need them to get a snake light bulb because it will save it will save your life. And they get it. They get that that snake is their nephew and they need it and the, the family's well-being depends upon that one thing. I remember standing on the porch when my first daughter was at two weeks old, just standing on the porch waiting for my mom's cab. <sighs> that was the best moment of my daughter's early infancy. Thanks, Lana. When my mom pulled up and took my daughter in her arms, and it was like I could breathe and relax for the first time because the woman who had somehow gotten me out of infancy safely, I, I knew I was all my heart I could just hand over my own child to. So that's the circle of life and thank God for my awesome sister getting the snake light bulb. You saved everybody's tiny.